Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, once again, our quiz series. So this question, yesterday I asked this question that uh, what will be the output of the following Java code? And here I have actually created one static method. You can see that method name is print hello and one static variable and whatever the return of this print hello method I'm storing in the P variable. And the thing is in the main method, I'm not calling anything. It's a completely blank main method. So what is the output of this? And we know that Java will always start the execution from the main method. And inside the main method, if you are not calling anything, nothing will happen ideally. But before man, main method also, there are some activities which will be performed here. So these are the four options that I have given. And if you see that around 1421 words are there and then the result is again disappointing. And the right answer for this question is it will print hello world, right? Most of the people are saying around 50% people are saying nothing, hello world false. It's totally wrong answer, compile time error. No, it will not give any compile time error. So you can say that around 50 plus 21, which is 71 plus five, around 75 people, you can say that which is totally wrong here, around 74% people. So what is the answer? Hello world, let's see how to see this. So this is a code that I am having it. And uh, here you see, I have one static method and this print hello, I'm calling it. And then print hello is giving me the Boolean false. I'm storing it here and printing it. Remember one thing that we know the execution will start from the main method, but before the main method, the class will be loaded, this particular class. And during the class loading, all the static properties or the static variables and the methods also will be loaded here. So in that case, before the main method, it will start initializing there's a static boolean p also which is actually calling print hello method and print hello method will be called here during the class loading and hello world will be printed and then it will return false and false will be given to p here right and then it will come inside the main method so here it really doesn't matter you what exactly you're writing inside the main method you are calling it or not <clears throat> right so if you run this program run as java application and you see the output on the console it's printing hello world here okay but what happens, let's see if I'm not making this a static here, right? And it's giving me Boolean P is equal to print hello. And then again, I'm running it. So let's see what happens in that case. Now this time Boolean P variable is not a static. So in that case, now it will not give any hello world here, right? See, so print hello method will be called only and only when you try to access P here. So during the class loading, this Boolean P will not be accessed. Why? Because this is non-static in nature. So non-static uh, variables or non-static, uh, sorry, this is non-static. It means this is the instance variable. You can say that if I really want to call it, I have to create the object of this class. So now I have to create the object of, let's see, test T is equal to a new test here. And then I have to call this P here. So let's see if I'm accessing with the system dot out bind ln T dot P here, I'm calling it and whatever the value, which is coming, give it to me. Now in that case, what will happen? It will try to call P. And P is actually equivalent to the hello world. And let's see what is the output in that case. So now the variable P will try to be initialized. Print hello method will be called. Hello world will be printed on the console. It will return false. False will be given to P. And then we are printing it here. And then the false will be printed on the console. But the actual question is that if I'm making it a static, then you don't need to create the object of this class and blank main method. So this is slightly tricky just to know about your Java knowledge that uh, before the main method or without the main method, without any static block, see, there is no static block and how to print hello world without any static block or any string if you really want to print without main method and without the static block here like this. Now, for example, if I remove this main method, can I execute this class? No, main method is the mandatory thing. Without main method, I cannot execute that. If you right click on it and go to run as the Java application is not coming here, right? Because main method is not there. But for example, let's see, this is the uh, simple code that I have written, but in some other class where the main method is there. So let's see, this is some kind of utility that you have created. And from the runner class, if you really want to access that utility. So let's see that variable I really want to access. So yes, that I can do it. P is what P is the static variable. Or let's see, this is private in nature, which is getting called internally. So I don't want to give the direct access of print hello uh, in the runner.java. 
right? So how to access this P? P is a static in nature and a static variable can be called by the class name in some other classes. So see this, I'm using let's see system dot or event ln test dot P here. So what will happen in that case? It will go to P. It will try to initialize the P with the, by calling the print hello method. Print hello method will be called. It will give you hello world and will return false. False will be given to P and then system dot print Allen will print false also on the console. So if you run this class and now you can say here that hello world false is getting printed here, right? But here in this class, I have not written any main method. So obviously from the other class, you have to call the P by using the class name here. Do we have any practical use cases? Yes, we can do that. If you are coming from, uh, let's see, extend report or, I mean, coming from the Selenium background, if you have used something like this, extend report listeners and all those things, you can check it here. See, here, exactly same thing that I'm calling this private static method that I have created, extend is equal to initialize method, which is getting called. And this initialize method is also a static in nature. So what will happen uh, when this particular class will be loaded? The extent a static uh, variable also will be initialized and it will call the initialize method. This initialize method will be called. It will go and check that the reporting folder is there or not. And it will initialize the initial values for the reporting folder and all those things like that. Right. So, yes, of course, we can use it practically also. You may be using it, but maybe you are not aware of this concept. So that's what you have given the wrong answer for this question, guys. This is very important, very famous interview question also looks easy. It's not like you're okay, if the main method, nothing is written here, then uh, nothing will be executed. That's fine. But before main method also, there are class loading properties and static properties and the class will be loaded before the main method. Then the JVM will call the main method here. Okay. So I hope this is clear. So right answer is hello world will be printed on the console. Thank you so much.